Suppose you're interested in finding the equation of normal plane to the helix at the following point. Well, remember that to write the equation of any plane, like a x minus x sub zero plus b y minus y sub zero plus c z minus z sub zero equal to zero you have a normal vector a comma b comma c and you have a point x sub zero y sub zero and z sub zero on your plane in that case when the helix is given to you to find the normal plane and finding the normal vector you just need to find the derivative of your curve and plug in the appropriate t value. In that case, r prime of t is equal to doesn't have a it doesn't have to be unit normal vector r prime of t is negative sine t. The derivative of sine is going to be cosine t, and the derivative of t is just one. And now what is the t value? Remember that x is cosine t, x is zero. y is sine t, y is one. z is t, z is pi over two. So the easiest equation is t equals to pi over two. You might be interested in solving cosine t, equals to zero, or you might be interested in setting sine t equal to one, solve these two trigonometric equations, or just simply say that, hey, t is equal to pi over two. And it satisfies in both of these two equations. So your t is pi over two, substitute that here to find your normal vector. R prime at pi over two, which is equal to negative sine pi over two, cosine pi over two, and one. So your normal vector is negative one, zero, and one. We have a normal vector. We have one point on the plane. So we're done already. Here we have negative one, parentheses, x minus zero, plus zero times y minus one, plus one times z minus pi over two equal to zero. Simplify this guy, you get negative x, this is just zero, plus z minus pi over two equal to zero. Or in another word, we can write it this way. We can say that, hey, I have z equals to x, plus pi over 2.